Whether it's convoys, foot patrols, or local traffic around Fab Passab, they're at risk from IEDs hidden under the ground. That's where these soldiers come in, playing hide-and-seek with things that explode. Yeah, that are let things that blow up try and find me, so... Eh, that's not that big a deal. Somebody's got to do it. Most of them are combat engineers with the 14th Engineer Battalion, specially trained to search for IEDs hidden by insurgents, requiring an eye for details. It's a memorization game. It's a, a th it's a thinking game, trying to think what could that be suspicious? Is that not suspicious? You know, so it can be insane at times. When driving down the road, you have to be able to notice if there's a single rock that's out of place on the road. During this mission, Romero noticed a curtain had been placed in the view of possible homemade explosives. The first time we rolled through there, I noticed uh, uh, quite a few jugs sitting there that gave up uh, the presence of what could possibly be an HME lab. They drive and search for eight hours on a good day, and much more on a bad. Sometimes getting back late only to immediately go back out again and retrieve a broken vehicle. Every day we'll be out there on them routes. Them routes got to stay open so we can allow freedom of maneuver for the civilians and the other and the patrols out there. They share this 24 hour a day burden among three platoons. Marine Sergeant Andrew Milner, forward operating base Passab, Afghanistan. 